Hi, everybody. Mr. C here. Um, we came across this problem the other day in class, and uh, it seemed a little bit tricky for, for the kids, and so we worked through it. Um, but I thought maybe it would be useful for kids and maybe parents, grown-ups out there, if you're lending a hand with homework, maybe you'd like to see it done too, okay? So here it goes. Peter has twice as many stickers as Joe. Joe has 40 more stickers than Emily. They have 300 stickers altogether. How many stickers does Peter have? Okay, so first things first. Um, I want to draw some blocks here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my Peter block, and I'm going to draw my Joe block. Because it says here that I know that Peter has twice as many as Joe. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'm going to draw my Joe block. There's Joe. And if Peter has twice as many stickers, well, he's got Joe, a Joe block, same size, except he has that same block twice, right? He has twice as many. So far, so good, right? Okay. Next thing I'm told is that Joe has 40 more than Emily. So Emily's got the fewest stickers. Joe has more than her. That means Emily's block is going to be shorter, right? It's smaller. Maybe I'll make it red to show it's not the same size. We have something here that shows it's shorter, correct? So, and together they have 300. Now, with the bar models, what we like to do is we like to divide to find one block. However, right now, I cannot divide because I don't have even-sized blocks. You can only divide when you're dividing things evenly, right? Or sharing evenly. These blocks are not the same size. I know that the Joe block is bigger than Emily's, and each of Peter's blocks is also bigger than Emily's. So they're not the same size. The good thing is I know exactly how different they are. They're 40 different. That means I can take a little marker here and I can show that Joe has 40 more than Emily right there, right? Um, <clears throat> now remember that Joe's block and uh, Peter block are identical, right? These two are identical. That means where I drew a little 40 on Joe's, I can do the same thing on a Peter block, because it's identical. Um, this first Peter block is also identical to this block. So I can do that same thing there. Okay, so what do I notice now? Let's look at this Emily block. Now I see, if I look at Emily's block, I now have a similar block for Peter, Joe, Peter and Joe, right? Um, except Peter and Joe have little extra bits hanging off. If I get rid of those extra bits, then I can divide by these one, two, three, four equal size blocks. You see these little green bits? One, two, three, four. They're the same size. So if I get rid of these extra 40s, then I can divide by four. Well, what's the math? For getting rid of things, you subtract, okay? So I see here that I've got 40 and 40. That will make 80, and this 40 would make 120. I want to get rid of those. Get rid of them is subtracting. Let's subtract 120. If I do that, I get 180. Now remember, the 180 is shared amongst these four blocks. That's all of these. It's not one block. It's all four of these. So I can now divide 180 by 4. Um, 180 by 4. You know that 4 and 4 is 16. There's 2 extra, and that's 4 into 20 is 5. So 45. So each of these blocks is 45, 45, 45, 45, okay, and my question, remember, is asking me, don't forget what it's asking you, it's asking us how many Peter has, well, let's zoom in on Peter, 
Peter's got 45 plus 45, it makes 90. This 40 plus 40 is 80. 90 plus 80 is 170. Okay, so Peter has, sorry, this is a little bit messy, but Peter's got 170 stickers. Okay, ta-da.